I have everything I need here. I guess I should have checked that before I went live. Hello, hello. Um, I do need a pair of scissors. I'm gonna grab them before everybody jumps on here. <laughs> I should have thought about everything. I. Oh well, I think I got it. Hi guys, hello, hello. Um, I uh, posted a, um, uh, like a share of someone that had made um, coasters out of sheet music. Um, and I had a lot of um, private messages. There were a couple people that even commented on the post. Um, but they wanted to see how to do it. You guys, it's so, so simple. This is um, one that I did years ago. I should have dated it on the back just to see how long it's held up. It sits on my husband's desk. Um, but I've made them with like old Christmas cards. We did it as a craft at Christmas time with my family. And we had collected uh, Christmas cards. Like a lot of customers would drop them when I had a store. They would leave them for us to craft with. And um, we always put them like on our shopping bags and stuff at Christmas time. And so... Um, um, anyway, we had, we had made this one. So I want to show you guys really quickly how to do it. And I was upstairs looking through all of my, um, my old paper treasures and I've got like, I have bags and bags and bags of different things. Um, this one just came in. Uh, my stepdad is German and he had his sister send me an old newspaper. Um, uh, this one I purchased, it was $10. I purchased, uh, a, a uh, antique vendor had them. Um, there's one on my website for sale, and then I kept one. They were ten dollars each uh, from uh, uh, Paris, France. It's a newspaper from Paris. I should, I should. Uh, let me see here. I needed to turn. Oh, I always forget to turn you guys around. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. If you have any questions or comments throughout this, just post them. I will come back and um, visit with you guys when we're all done. But here is the Paris Journal, and it's just a one page of a newspaper um, from Paris. And then uh, Maria, my uh, stepdad's sister, sent um, some... She sent a, some ads, uh, German ads, and then this old newspaper from Germany So uh, for me to craft with. So I thought I might make, uh, make a coaster for him for uh, reaching out to her for me. Um, and then I, let's see, I've got all kinds of, I've got all kinds. Of, oh, yes, and like maybe, an, maybe one um, that he would like for his desk, one by his chair, one by his desk. This is a... It's a learning German songbook that I had found and it's got like, it's got a song and the song would be in German on one side and in English on the other side. So I thought that was kind of cool to make something with someday. And then of course, you know, I love old sheet music. I have tons of a stack here of old, uh, these are all ready to go because all of the edges are ripped off, but like lots of sheet music and stuff. But what I look at more than anything, when you look at this stack of papers, do you see the different levels of color? Like see how dark and aged this one is very brittle. And then these are a little bit creamier. These are a little bit whiter. <coughs> all different kinds of um, fonts and sizes and wordings. And like, look at this little book. Like I'm looking at color and fonts. I love little like engineering drawings and things like that always send interest to, <coughs> gosh, of course, I always start coughing when I come on here. Um, they always put, send interest, like this one's all the same. <coughs> Excuse me, and if you, I'll show you how layering different uh, colors and things make it look a little bit different. Um, and a little more interesting. So I don't really look at what it says as much as I look at that sort of things. Like, like I might do all sheet music, but see the difference in the size of this with this. So just that alone, or sometimes the sheet music musical be like really difficult with lots of black um, music notes. That makes it really cool. Um, this book, I had bought this book to tear up because of the poetry. And I thought it would be wonderful to craft with instead of just, you know, having the book itself, but it was too beautiful to do, um, to tear up. So I didn't want to destroy it because it's so old. 
but at the same time, when I took the price tag off, I ruined the the person who'd stuck the tag on the cover, so it really ruined the cover. So I've had this book forever, thinking of doing something with it. I just didn't know what, but I'm wondering if these coasters might not be perfect. You can lay your coaster right over top of your project and see how much room, you know, how much you need. So it's gonna take a little bit of gumption. I'm not gonna do this one live because I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know for sure if I'm going to do it, but if I do, I was kind of messing with it upstairs and I really think I can pull it off. Um, like this, this part right here fits perfect. This whole thing right there fits perfect on the coaster, this. So you would get the flowers and the little poem, um, rest thou still, tis thy father's work of grace, wait thou yet before his face, they, uh, he thy uh, sure deliverance will, uh, be thou still, Lord my God, by thy grace, O oh, may I, all submissive silently to the chastings of thy rod, Lord my God. Um, just things, it's just a very pretty book, but uh, um, this one too would fit so like like there and then if I go over the edge I'll either I don't know we'll see but I know I'm gonna get hate mail like hate <laughs> hate comments if I'm going to do that because of tearing up an old book so I'm, I'm not even gonna do it on the video um, I don't want to upset anyone about it. I just feel like that book has been um, destroyed by losing the label, but the pages can be saved and treasured as something like this. And I've been waiting for the perfect project, and I think this one might be it. So, um, this is what, this is the secret. It's just a coaster. Now, this is a glazed white coaster. You can get them at any, um, uh, like Home Depot or, or Lowe's or a place like that. Just go in, I bought a whole box of them. Now listen, also, these were the cheapest ones and when I had my shop and we did a lot of um, crafting and then I knew we were having all of uh, my husband's family, we made sets of four. So I needed a whole bunch of them. So um, they make though, I can't think of, is it travertine? I can't think of the word where they are like jagged, not jagged edged, but a little more interest, a little more, not so glazed and all of that stuff. And if you look closely at the picture that I posted, it's been a few posts back, not very many. Uh, but if you look really closely, I think they've put it on a nicer tile than this, but this will give you the same look, okay? So, <clears throat> Anyway, all you do is put your Mod Podge on your coaster, um, and those of you that like need to get off and get going or whatever, um, just the secret is to put your Mod Podge on, put your papers on, uh, make them as thick as you want, make you know as layered up as you want, make sure they're laying smooth, and then finish it with a coat of Mod Podge. The other um, tip I would give you is to cover the back with some kind of felt so that you don't scratch up your surface with um <clears throat> with the scratchy back of the tile so there you go that just pretty much summed it all up but for those of you that want to stick around and watch me play around a little bit let's get going here so um i'm just going to wrap this one like a present usually like this one i just lay pieces on top of pieces on top of pieces and i wrap them the back is not pretty i needed to put a piece of felt on here and never did um or cover the back with more paper or um, um, the little dots like that you put under your chairs. Um, oops, I didn't mean to paint the whole thing. Um, the little dots of felt that you can put under your furniture to keep your furniture from scratching. Something like that I would probably recommend. Um, no, I don't have it under mine, but I don't want you guys to get mad at me if you scratch something. <laughs> so I'll just recommend that you do something like that just so that you know, we're always friends, right? <laughs> and you won't be mad. <laughs> and your husband won't be mad at me if you scratch his favorite table or something. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, we gotta, we need to stay friends, guys. So, okay. So, basically, this is all that they did in that picture. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it just because I don't even know why. I don't need to cut it. Um, and then I'm going to add just a bit here yeah I, it does it does kind of hurt your heart when you cut up some of these things but at the same time 
when you see, if you, if you were able to see some of the places that I find, some of the things that I find, I mean, I'm majorly rescuing a lot of this stuff. So it's, it's wonderful. Um, you know, one time I had a lady come into my shop. I had made a lampshade out of uh, music, sheet music, and um, it had, uh, what was it, the Lord's Prayer, I believe, and Amazing Grace, and all of the things that, you know, reminded me of my um, grandparents and their favorite songs and all of that stuff. And I had it in my house for quite a while, and then I decided to take it to the shop and share it with someone else. Um, and I had a lady come in and she was a little upset that I, um, would deface music books like that, but I tried to explain to her that these things brought me joy and that being closed up in a book on a shelf, um, put it out of sight, out of mind, where when I would look at that lamp every day it did remind you to be a better you know a better person or you know whatever and um and the, the strange thing was she kind of left a little huffy but was okay i don't remember who it was i'm hopefully that she's not following me here and and um remember if it is i do not even remember who it was i don't even know that i knew her um but i think that i eased her mind a little bit um Anyway, not long, like just a couple of hours later, on the very same day, a, a, uh, a gal that I know she follows me, I don't know that she watches everything, but she was a new minister in town. Now, isn't this strange? She came into my shop that very day and was going around meeting um, the uh, shop owners and wanting to introduce herself, invite us to their church, you know, the whole bit. And um, super sweet lady. And it was just wonderful that I was able to strike up a conversation with her. And I have to tell you that it was really interesting. Um, you know, she kind of had the same feel as I did and was saying that there are tons of music books at the church and that, um, you know, what a great way of, of saving them and not just being donated or thrown away. And so I just felt like, um, yeah, it just reassured me that it was okay what I was doing and to each his own. And, you know, I, I, I love the other lady's conviction of her belief and, um, you know, shouting out from the rooftops that it was wrong. But at the same time, the next lady to come in and say how wonderful. So, you know, just never let people hurt your heart, I guess is the whole idea of my, what I'm talking about. Um, and that not everything, you have to know that not everything you do is for everyone and all of that stuff. So I don't even, I don't even know why I got off on all of that because I totally did not plan on saying any of that. Um, so I am just layering here, layering and layering, and then making sure that everything I am wrapping has um, Mod Podge on it to catch uh, to hold down. Okay. So there, that wrapped up, a, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. that wraps up around the edge and back onto the top a little bit. So then let me, is it right side up? Yeah, I have my glasses on so I can't see. Okay. <laughs> That's so weird. Like five years ago, I could see like a champ, like uh, uh, friends were saying, oh, I'm I'm getting to where I can't see anything. I'm like, oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> now, <laughs> now here I am, I'm just like them. So I'm looking for some darker, see if I have any music. Here's a little, I don't think I have different shades of color of music. Not that it really matters. Um, I've got the Raindrop Soldiers here, September and New Day. I don't know that I'm, the ship's got, nah, I don't know that any of those are really rocking my, Rock of my world. Here's Dear Little Moon. Here's the morning song, Flying Kites in Wooden Shoes. I think what I'm going to do is just take, I'm gonna take this. I don't want any squared edges. Um, so I'm just going to take this sheet 
and I need to make sure, I've got my glasses, <laughs> this is gonna help me. I'm gonna make sure, yeah, that they're right side up. And I think I'm just gonna go right over this. I'm not crazy loving all of the white that I'm seeing. So I'm gonna go over this. Um, I might keep that, the uh, author's name of the one underneath. So I'm just gonna lay that on there like that. Um, you know, maybe someone was born in September and they might like this page. Um, who knows? But I'm gonna leave that like that. And then I'm gonna, whoops, it's starting to dry. So I'm going to wrap this. Um, but I thought I might sit here and just make a few of these. Um, it's a quiet Sunday afternoon. My mom was here earlier this morning helping me make some things in my craft group. I needed a, I needed a hand and my husband was uh, burning some brush and he needed a hand so um, uh, they came over to help us out and um, my husband's friend Tom came to help too so that was good. Um, he got a two-day job done in just about four or five hours so that was pretty pretty cool. It's nice to have help when you need it. Nice, oops, nice to have friends and family that you can call on also um, to help you out. So anyway um, we did that this morning and then I just kind of wanted to relax a little bit and I thought, you know what, I could do this today. So I'm just covering, I'm just covering it with Mod Podge. It's simply Mod Podge. Right there you go, it's just Mod Podge. I always pour it off into a different container just so it has a bigger top. This is a, <laughs> you guys know I, the, that follow me, my old tapioca pudding <laughs> container. Um, and so this really could be done. I mean, I could add, um, I mean, I could add a hint of anything I could add. Let's see, I saw something that had a picture of a dog or something. Let's see, what's this right here? Nope, that's not good. Um, it's too big. Here's the dogs. I mean, I could easily stick a stick a dog on there. Um, maybe I will. I'll just cut it out here exactly like the page has it. Rather than ripping it, I'm going to follow the band somewhat. I mean, not perfect. Um... But I just want to show you what, even though this has nothing to do with music, just I'm more looking like from a distance at a glance that someone might look at this and see what I see. It's not really focusing in on the words or whatever. It's more about the look. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to put him right there. See that? See how that changed? Um, hopefully you guys can see that. So of course the Mod Podge is white right now, but it will dry down. And so this is what I have, oh, it's super shiny. And then this was one that I made years ago. I mean, I haven't done this in years, but I just wanted you, I brought the old one out just to show you how it holds up. I mean, my husband uses it for, uh, coffee at his desk or at the evening after work he might have a beer a cold beer of course that drips down on so I just want you to see that it works great and um, it, it holds up for you so don't be afraid of that um, these could be uh, just propped in your decor and not actually even used but just to give you that uh, that idea is all I'm here for and then you would take your bundle so um, like to be like the picture, you would put these together <clears throat> and then bind them with um, some sort of like like um, jute or uh, muslin shreds, you know, I love that, or seam binding or ribbon or whatever, and you could bundle them together and it would make a great gift that you could give to someone. Um, maybe dig through your Christmas cards that you've kept all of these years and find them from different people and then gift them back their cards that they've given you. That would be a cute idea. <clears throat> anyway, I won't keep you guys on here, but I do think I'm going to zip into this uh, Paris uh, newspaper. And like I said, there's one like it on my website if anybody's interested. Um, let me see here. The German newspaper, uh, She, his sister got this from a neighbor um, all that she had was new, which would have been fine, but I like the vintage, of course. <clears throat> so I think this one might be fun to do a poster of where you can't, I love when you can't read what it says. 
Like, it, like you want to read it, <clears throat> and then when you see it, it's like, what does that even say? I love that. I think that's so interesting. And then we have all of these things back here. So it was worth $10 to me for sure um, to get the color and the, um, and the font from something different. Because I do so much of this stuff. It's fun to shake up my world, you know. Um, I mean, this stack definitely excites me with all of the, the different textures and, and fonts and stuff. But at the same time, um, it's fun to even step out a little bit farther with different languages. I know once we had Braille, um, we had a, uh, I was able to get a folder of Braille paper and that, I don't know if it was a book or what it was, I don't remember now, but just the texture of that and it was all that creamy white. Oh, we, we made a lot of paper flowers out of those Braille uh, pages over the years. It was a big, it was a big book. So anyway, you guys, that's all I have. Oh, before I sign off, let me look at your comments, see if anyone has anything to say. I'm not going to hold you up while I make all of these things, but I just thought since I posted that and had, had a few people asking, I would show you how simple it was. And the secret was just a piece of bathroom tile um, and then remember to put felt or little little circles or cut a square or those cork sticky things whatever something like that on the back to protect your furniture okay so let me so that's all I have if you guys want to stick around for a little chit chat I always look through my comments and um, visit with you say hi to anybody that wants to say hi and um, I sure appreciate you for watching but let's see who's saying hello today. There's Alice. Hi, Alice. Hello, hello. Don't know if you're still here. And there's Nancy, an old faithful friend. Hello, Nancy and Margaret. Um, hi, Margaret. I'm recognized. Oh, and there's my mom. She must have made it home safe and sound. Uh, hello from California. That is Faye talking to us. And Roseanne Sprinkled. So she liked the video. Um, and the idea of what I was doing. So sprinkling means she shared it. There's a button at the bottom and she pushed that to share this with her friends um, so that they could see that um, she's got a great idea to show them. Uh, and there's Patricia from Texas. Hello, Patricia. And um, what does that say? Oh, Rosanna, and she's a new viewer. Well, welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you for watching. Um, and Kelly, she is from Bishopville, South Carolina. Oh, I bet it's a pretty day there. We're in Ohio and we have got a beautiful sunny day. It's 46 degrees, a little windy, but it's a beautiful, you know, we don't see the sun here a lot right now this time of year. Uh, so it's a happy day here. Hi, Charlotte, or Charlotte, thank you so much. She said it was awesome, so she liked the project. Hi, Tanya. anybody else? oh there's Cheryl hello Cheryl oh you guys I love when you say hi um, it looks like I'm just staring at the, <laughs> the screen um, could possibly make color yes yes Cheryl so I'm very vintage so I pretty much am neutral I don't know if you can see my house but it's pretty neutral I'm I'm beiges woods browns creams um, and green with the greenery is like my color pop. I'm very neutral um, and love the vintage cozy sort of thing. Um, so yes, but yes, cut, you could do any, you could tear up magazine pages, um, any, anything. You could do scrapbook with all of the flowers. Go get, there's beautiful, beautiful scrapbook paper. And even if you're vintage, but you want color, um, go look at the scrapbook, um, the themed books in the scrapbook paper uh, aisle at the craft shops. There's like loose pages. And then if you turn around behind you, usually there's, or, well, it depends on the store, but there are like really thick books of pages and you can still be vintage and have color. I'm just more neutral myself personally. Um, well, hello, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. And there's Sherry. Uh, yes, Travertine. That's what I was thinking. You make them all the time. Is this how you do it, Sherry? Um, I know how you feel. I thought hymn books to craft with. Now I am second guessing about cutting songs out. No, um, Linda, my thought of it is that you're going to make something that you're going to look at every day or share it with someone that's going to look at it. And you are bringing that, um, let's say, Amazing Grace song um, to life and getting it out of 300 and some pages or however many pages that they've got to fork through a book to even find it. And you're putting it right under their nose every day. And I really think it will, um, I think it will warm someone's heart and maybe your own. So my take on it is do it. Um, do it. 
Uh, let's see, I know how you feel. There you go. So Linda, yeah, I, I wouldn't let that stop you um, myself, but somebody may come along and give you a comment like I got and just know that, you know, you just have to be ready to explain yourself or you can be, you know, it's your book, you can do what you want. <laughs> they go to bought it too, you know? I mean, that's kind of mean, but, but it's true. There's so many books and I have seen them go um, I, I guess I just see so much going vintage, going shopping at some of these thrift shops and stuff. They're like in boxes down in the bottom of the shelf. Like, like they're just abused. So I feel like if someone loves it enough to choose that and to, to scroll through and find exactly what they're looking for, I just think that's your heart calling you to do that. So, uh, Patricia. They have a cork on Amazon, also cork dots. Yes, that, yeah, cork might be nice too instead of the, um, I, cork might be a little more professional looking maybe than the felt. Um, so yeah, I might look for that. Um, let's see. Um, you know, it's always just been girlfriends or family making them. I've never made them to, well, that's not true. I did make some when I had the shop and sold them. I got the bigger tiles, you guys, too. Like, this is, um, I don't even know, maybe four by four. I don't know. Uh, but I got a bigger, much bigger uh, one, and I used it as a trivet for a long, long time. Um, and then I also had used it, sometimes I would put it, like, underneath a plant or underneath a vase not I'm trying to, not for protection but um to to break it like if like I have a white countertop so I would put some like a big trivet that was covered in sheet music and then put my white ironstone vase on it so it was more like a color break more like a a change uh, I guess is the best way to say uh, but to use it as part of my decor I've propped them in dough bowls with greenery before um almost to make them be like a book. So yeah, you just get creative with it. Um, just what are you making, Julie? I'm making coasters to show you guys. I put a post on a few days ago uh, with just a picture and asked if you liked it. And then I realized they probably didn't even know what it was. So I went back in and edited it and said it was coasters. And then people were asking how to make them. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna show them. Um, you've done yours by distressing the edges. Yes. Um, Sherry, I would, whoops, I would have done that if I had like the, um, like travel, travertine or just a nicer, um, these are just those cheap white shiny. So I to distress the edge of this, like by sanding it back would expose the white. If I were going to distress this, I would use our country chic, um, wax, dark wax or glaze and use my finger and go around the edges like that. Um, which you can find that on my website too, you guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, Sherry, I gotcha. Um, anybody else? There's Joan. How do you do that? How do I do what? <laughs> what did I do? Joan, I don't know, girlfriend. You might have to re uh, catch the replay and see if you find it. I think I explained everything as I went, so I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, just use some sandpaper along the edges. And yes, Sherry, um, I'm not going to do that because, again, you're going to expose this, this really white. And um, if anything, I would darken the edges with wax or glaze. Either one would be fine. Um, I don't want to expose the white. Um, so that's why I'm not doing that. Uh, da, 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 da. Can with a picture. Yes, absolutely, Sherry. You certainly can. Take a picture that you've got of your dog, of your grandkids, of your husband, of anybody, and do it with your picture. Make a collage. Sure, absolutely. Um, I should have thought of that to tell you guys. Uh, let's see, Joan says, love this. I've always wanted to do this, but I have some reluctance as to people hating for tearing up songbooks. Aw. I know, I know. You know what? It, you, if, especially if you're doing it for yourself to enjoy, you can pop a page out of a book that might be special to you and no one will ever know that you took it out and then make your thing. And it, if they know you and they know your heart, it's not, it's not sinful. Now, to tear up a Bible, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I, I, don't think I could do that. And I've got Bibles that... Um, you know, where you buy stacks of books and there's Bibles in there and they're in pretty rough shape. And I, there are things, um, that I would love to, um, but I, I don't know why I just, that, that's like going too far for me. <laughs> I've seen some people do it, but I can't do that. But the music books, 
for me, it just brings that song to my attention every day. Um, Joan, Sherry answered, or Sherry responded. Okay, yes, thank you, Sherry, for helping Joan out. Uh, thank you, Joan. She likes the style. Um, anybody else? Let's see. Can you cut felt to cover? The yes, Linda, that, exactly. That's what you'll want to do. I didn't. I've wrapped um, my pages enough that it's just enough thickness that the pages hit first. And um, I, I didn't do it. But if I were to sell them, it does need to be finished on the back. But just for myself. Hi, Jen. There's an old friend on here. How are you, friend? Um, I think you just had a birthday here not too long ago. I'm thinking I saw that. I'm thinking. I can't remember. Uh, Linda, uh, you're new from Cincinnati. Well, I'm in Zanesville, Ohio. We're almost neighbors. I'm happy that you found me. Hi, Teresa. Hello, hello. Anybody else? Let's see. And Robin. Hi, Robin. Hello. Let's see. And Tisha. Hi, Tisha. <laughs> I love that name. You know, I had a dog named Tisha. And every time I see you say hello, I think of my little dog. She was so sweet. I love that name. Um, hi, Elaine. Hi. Uh, love my shirt. Oh, thank you, Tisha. Actually, I just got this from Stitch Fix in a box Friday. Friday, yeah, and it's got like, look, it's got these really soft patches. That are, well, they're supposed to be on my elbow, <laughs> but they're like on my elbow. And then it's got buttons, um, buttons down the back. I'm not sure you can see, but it's a great. It was a great um, shirt from Stitch Fix, so I was tickled to get it. If you need a link, let me know. Um, if you want to know about it, just message me. Uh, hi, Tara. I don't put all my Stitch Fix, op fix openings on here. But I do put, I put a few, um, you're late, you're not late, you're fine. But yes, you can catch the replay, Connie, for all the good stuff. Um, you know, this is the chit chat part here at the end. I inspired you, Joan, well good, it's such an easy little thing. Um, and nice little decor. I won't tear up a Bible, but those other books, uh, yes, are being reloved. That's exactly right, reloved. That's what I just said too. I don't know that I would do um, a Bible, but I, I do, obviously, I do these sheet music uh, and music books and stuff. And I have, so many of you have reached out to me to buy pages. And so uh, I know I'm not alone in my love of these, um, of these type of things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh my, oh wait, wrong side. There we go. <laughs> I messed up my hair. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, yes, it would be a great gift to give. Um, you guys have a great day. I'm going to sit here and make a few more just for fun. Um, I may order some of that cork and put together some kits under the handmade section on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com. So we'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna have some fun playing around here and maybe change out some that I've uh, had on my uh, table by my, um, by my chair and on my desk too. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to have a little quiet time on Sunday. So I hope you guys get to do the same. Have a great day. Thank you, Joan. You have a great evening as well. Thank you for the, um, the thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate you guys, all of you that uh, decided to sprinkle and share this for me. Thank you so much. Have a great day and a great weekend. Uh, can you... Can you tell about your membership? Oh yes, you just almost missed me. Hi, Joe. Yes, um, I have a little group, a little crafting group, and um, it is um, called Tammy's Making. Um, I, uh, you can find it on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com, and it's just the name of the name of my page. You can find it at the top and add a .com to it with no spaces, and you'll go right to it. And there's a membership tab. Um, I've recently changed the name. It was called it was called Tammy's Craft Club. Well, I thought that sounded kind of cheesy after a while. I've had it for, I think since two, that February 2019. So everything I've ever made is in there for you uh, new people. It's $15 a month. You can get in anytime. You can get out anytime. No questions asked. Does it matter? Um, I just uh, would love for you all to see because there's some fabulous there's some really good stuff in there. I don't do a lot of Dollar Tree. If you're a Dollar Tree gal, that's not my thing. There's, I mean, maybe 
you know, 10%, maybe I might find some Dollar Tree things and work them in, but I'm more about vintage and authentic and, you know, antiques and going into grandpa's garage and rooting around for rusty bolts and washers and doing things more heartfelt, um, using grandma's doilies, using mom's locket, you know, that kind of thing is more what I'm into. Um, uh, handkerchiefs, like just, um, Creating treasures is what, so, okay, so I didn't like Tammy's Craft Club, so <laughs> I changed the name, Facebook lets you change the name, and I changed it to uh, Tammy Loves, because that was the, my store name, Tammy Loves Creating Vintage Treasures, because I thought that was self-explanatory, but at the same time, it's like this long, it's like a mouthful, and I don't like long, like I like Tammy Loves, because it was small, and so it, it wasn't perfect and I knew it would hit me what I wanted it to be. So I changed the name here just a couple of weeks ago and this is it. I'm not changing it again. I found the perfect name, Third Times of Charm, but I'm calling it Tammy's Making. So um, I like that it leaves the question in your mind as to what is Tammy making? Um, and so uh, it leaves a curiosity factor. And so I like that one. It's like an action, um, that I'm doing something over there and it's a curious thing. So, so yeah, so I settled on that name. <laughs> so I changed it again. All of that to tell you, if you go to my website, TammyLovesVintage.com and you see uh, Tammy Loves Creating Vintage Treasures, that's it. I don't know, I have a girl that takes care of my website for me and she's very, very busy uh, adding things for me all the time. She has a toddler and a full-time job. So I don't know that Danita's gotten everything changed on all you know, Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and groups and all of that stuff. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so that, and so we go in there, I try to do, um, at least three, um, projects a month. I am not super structured. I have girls in there that have their own groups. So they're into, you know, get in ideas and get inspired. And, um, I know that they do, um, prizes in their thing and they share everyone shares their crafts we just post in the page in the group uh, but they have like all these different groups but I you know I'm I'm working outside the house plus you know I got all the things so I'm just not as structured I honestly just go in when I can and I make something because I don't want the pressure of trying to oh I gotta make something on Tuesday at six o'clock and then like but I don't have anything I just don't want to make something to make it I really want to make things that are that I want to make for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So right now I'm trying to tackle these, um, clay pots that emulate my English pottery that, um, we, I have some on the website that we've talked about in here. So I did, uh, my friend Julie came over last Wednesday and we made four pots and got up in the morning and they had all cracked. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we failed so I had to get back in the group and show the girls what happened and I'm like don't give up on me I'll get it and so today my mom came over and helped me and we made three together so um, um, it's about getting the ideas it, we don't craft together let me see who's saying that Joe Hall we don't craft together um, you can the thing is um, I can't send you to a store and say, okay, we're making, you need to buy this, 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 and this, and this, and we're going to do it on Friday at six o'clock now, because a lot of my things are antiques and vintage, and you may not have, um, you may not have an old skeleton key or, you know, a, a block of wood that's exactly like mine. So yeah, I tell you ideas of what to, um, other options you might be able to use instead of a block of wood, you might be able to use a book or whatever, but um, we talk it all through, but yeah, it is more for you to be inspired and to see what I'm making and then try to make it yourself um, when you can and when you have time. Because just because I might have time on a Friday at five o'clock doesn't mean that you have time to sit down and do that at the same time. But like I say, it's just very laid back, Joe. So um, it may not be for you. It may not be structured enough for you. Um, but if you kind of just like to look at your own pace and um, follow along, then it might be perfect for you. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it's a great little group of girls. And um, I guess I guess I can go in there and not feel like I have to have it all laid out and all um, 
perfect and and we kind of get through it together it's just a lot i just love it i love it over there that's my favorite place to be so i always take my best stuff over there and then maybe about a year later i might do some things over here with you guys but i always show the finished product styled in my home and how we use it and then sometimes i might come on here and say look what we made in the group i do that a lot um uh just i want everyone to see what they're missing by not being in the group but at the same time i'm proud of what we've made and um, i know there's people that sometimes you can tell you just need inspired like i was with these pots they're stinking awesome like how many do we have just 20 of you so you guys are curious or driving or bored or whatever i'm gonna bring you in here and show you my mess i have a mess in here <laughs> oh my gosh look at the mess i have because these are all projects coming <laughs> They're all projects coming, but let me bring you in here and I'll show you. So like this is what I'm working on. And then we've got to paint them out yet, but they're like this. And this is a clay, um, but we're learning how to do it because here's the ones that busted all up. I mean, they just broke apart. So they just fell apart. And then, the, so they're to look like the original, like these are from England. These were the one-time use containers that um, are unearthed. Um, I've talked about this a couple of times. So someone would buy a jar of marmalade in the early 1900s, and this is how it would come. And when the marmalade was done, just like we do with the Smucker's jar, we throw it in the trash, right? Well, so they're over there unearthing all of this, um, all of this stuff and finding these containers and we're all going crazy for them. And so um, we just, I love all of the patina that it's had. I mean, it's been buried for a hundred years. And so I have a lot of these pieces that I've been collecting and now I've been able to find some to sell. So it's pretty cool. And anyway, I wanted, I found these stamps, um, these IOD stamps. So uh, and I, I shared about those, but they're just little rubber stamps. So we're figuring out, we're figuring it out <laughs> anyway. So we'll see. But as soon as I, as soon as I get them done, I will style them and then I'll share the picture over here for you guys too. Um, so that's just, that's, that's a, a long, <laughs> sorry to talk so much. <laughs> I'm just so passionate I just love it it's like my thing so anyway okay you guys have a great day I miss I'm sure where's my glasses <laughs> I'm sure I probably missed some things and I got so much Mod Podge on my fingers uh <laughs> it's not feeling my it's not feeling me uh, hi Sharon it's not hardly feeling my fingers touching the screen here um if you like you need oh thank you barbara that's so nice of you yep barbara's in the group she knows um sounds great thank you inspiring is what i need oh joe well hopefully you'll join us uh it's tammylovesvintage.com and then it's join our membership tab at the top you'll see it um yep and that's it so that's everybody uh nobody else has any questions so um You've been blessed with talent. Oh, thank you, Joan. Um, I wish I was blessed with artistic talent. I wish I could paint um, and draw. I'm so envious of those that can do that. But I do have a creative thing. Um, I've got a little knack for creating, that's for sure. So uh, anyway, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. It's nice to meet all of you new ones. And um, yeah, this is how it works. I usually come on, I do my thing, I say my thing, and then we visit and chit chat at the end and you never know where it's gonna go, right? I've had you up in my bedroom closet. I've had you show in my, my mantle. You know, people will ask, hey, can you show this or that again? I drag you all over the house. So, <laughs> okay, Sharon. Um, what we did was some coasters. If you remember the post that I had posted a few days ago, I just put some Mod Podge uh, on a bathroom tile. And you can use any kind of tiles. I talk about it in the video. And um, I have stacks and stacks of old pages here and old books. And so I'm just looking through and um, layering pieces. Here's an old one that I've done quite, I mean, years ago, but um, just to show them how to make that photograph that had been posted um, on our page. I don't know. I, th I think I posted it maybe three or four days ago and people were asking me about it. So that's what we were doing. So anyway, you guys have a great day. It's nice to see you. And I'm going to sit here and do some more Mod Podging, get my fingers a little bit thicker than they are right now. Bye-bye. <laughs>